um, to, to be honest, when I was single, it 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 was different. It was mad. Yeah, I was one of them guys. I'd be locked up in a room, just playing with myself. Yeah, don't give a damn. Don't give a damn. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. So I had to find a damn good woman in my life. Mm. And the old saying goes, I don't care what anyone says, if you could be around a woman who you know for years and not realise and have that acknowledgement, she's going to be with you for the rest of your days. There's something wrong with you. Does the benefits of a relationship outweigh the benefits of being single and why? No. Huh. No? No what? Huh? Benefits of a relationship do not outweigh the benefits of being a sing uh, a single person. Short term, of course not. Long term, maybe. But I'm still young. I'm not there yet, so I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a tricky one. <laughs> mad, and mad don't talk one. about washing clothes, cooking, none of that. You could pay for that these days, bro. Get the bag up. Or do it yourself. <laughs> you could pay for all that. You can get you can get meal preps now. Yeah. You know what? If you're if you're a man on his purpose, mm. it's 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 twofold because females can become distractions. Mm. But on the other hand, if you have a really good mo- woman, she can motivate you and uplift you. Amen. Yeah. So it it depends it depends on the type of woman you pick up. So it's not necessarily the relationship, it's specifically the type of woman. Yeah. So what you're saying is if you got a good woman in your life, even if it's a friend, relationship, whatever, what are you saying? That good woman will motivate you and push you. I wouldn't say friend. Mm. Because they have their own life to live. Preach. They're not gonna be living with you. Preach. You're not gonna be talking to them every day. Yeah, because I, so, I I don't want no wife that has a male friend that she's with every day. Bum yeah. or Clark. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it would have to be your own woman that can really pour it's into you. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tricky one when, when man's talking about any a woman in any situation with you other than a relationship, isn't it? Because she's always gonna have some allegiance to another man that's above you. Yeah. So she's yeah. not really down for pushing and building you. Is yeah, she? exactly. That's nuts. She'd be pushing and pouring into her own man. Rather than you, do you know what I mean? But I hear that. again, I'm kind of an optimistic and pessimistic person at times. Um, the day and age you live in now, there's few and far between good women out there that have the, the capabilities of pushing you and motivating you as a man versus then giving you headache and argument. Instead of head. I've, yeah, and I think majority out there will give you headache rather than peace. Long. So yeah. I'm more pushing to the side of being single if you're on a purpose and you got goals. Like see me, I've come to this conclusion, yeah. Like see you're about like alias and that. Man used to bug me when I was in my late twenties, bro. When you having use fam? What? <laughs> you darker. All of you lot. That's part when you gotta push out some use fam. Well, even dark, yeah. Yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, brother, I'm twenty six wow. though, fam. Wow. You see, now that man's thirty two. Bros, I ain't even gonna lie. For me, them times, their times were good in it. There were, there, there were real decent women about. There were, to me, there were real decent women about at them times there mm. before the madness kick off. But sorry for no. Nah, do you know what? No, nah, do you know what? That's actually a good point as well. That's something I never really looked at. Like the way the women were back then, to the way the women are now, mm. and it's just a minor thing, like seven years six seven years it's not even that much time and it's yeah. like raw social media has really fucked us up mm-hmm. so bro like see me i'm a man in it i have no biological clock yeah i have a financial clock though see after 45 50 not really looking to put in that much hard physical oh, work yeah, yeah, yeah. and this yeah. and that and not sleeping and this and yeah, we're not yeah. looking to do that after a certain age Mm. which means I've got a certain amount of time. You see, when I get to that time now, that time limit, that's when I can honestly say that, say 40, raw, I've got this big bag fam, a yard, whatever I want. Cool. I'm not going to say man's fulfilled my dreams and I've made it. It's just, mm. that's, a, that's a resource level. My dream, my goal is not just to have resources. 
<laughs> not my goal. That comes with what you're doing, innit? So see when man gets to that level. Then so I'll you come. want in life. Huh? It's what you want in life. You, sh- you get me straight. Because I see this money thing as resources. Money buys resources. So if it were, if it was two, three, four hundred years ago, man would be chopping down trees, collecting this, collecting that, and, and whatever. Uh-huh. Now it's money. And money buys those things. Damn right. Okay, let's say, for instance, you collected, you know, the type of money you wanted to kind of make you not go hard when you're 45, 50 and mm. that, right? Mm. Would would now the single life benefit you more than a relationship? Yes. Huh? Yes. All right, explain to me. Because don't forget now, you've more or less got... I've you've got, more or less got what, what I you, need, got my bread, man, got my yard, got my little car, whatever. Cool. You're nice. You got to understand, the minute you take on a woman, that's an expense, bro. Yeah. Mm. I don't even care if this woman's making more than me. You have to understand, that's an expense. It comes with shit. It Preach. comes with, if the woman's making more than me, it comes with a stigma. If the woman ain't making more than me, it comes with a responsibility. Mm-hmm. If the woman is not making shit, it's a problem. It's not a problem. It's, a, mm, it's, it's not no problem at all for yeah, me. True, sorry. Yeah, but off. this woman has to understand, Ra, are you an expense or an investment? Mm. Because there's no way man's going to take your pee. If I take your money off you, I'm doing something with it. But that's not going to happen, is it? Mm. Because the way somehow I've been raised since the 90s to now, without even my mum saying this, my mum has not told me one word about this, bruv. But I can show you shit. Whatever a woman makes is hers. Oh, hell yeah. Whatever you make is for your house. Mm. Mm. that's just how man's been raised like without anyone physically saying them words to me so if i had everything i needed for me or to build a family man's not looking for a woman to build a family that woman's coming to me bro so i'm gonna continue to build my shit i I swear down because man seeing these 65 70 year old old dudes getting a young 25 30 year old thing and What's going on? <laughs> what is my is money really that much of an objective that, that a woman will go with a dude where his thing might not even be working for the bag? So D, let me ask you a question because yo, are you in a relationship? I think you're in a relationship. Are you? Yes, no? I am in soon to be engaged, my friend. I am engaged. Mm. Further more, yeah. congratulations, congratulations. I'm engaged, nice. my friend. I'm I engaged. Even, you know what it is. You know what it is. Ball and chain. I don't even know if that's a congratulations. It anymore. fucking is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know me, missus? You know me, missus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday. I know your missus, and you know, I know you, you, your dynamics of you guys' relationship. Oh yeah, yeah. Congratulations. I'll thank say you, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Thank you. Smash the glass. So <laughs> let me. So let me ask you a question, right? How long have you been in? How long have you been in your relationship? <sighs> roughly, how long have I been there? Roughly. Uh, put it this way. I'm going to get a little bit deep on it right now. Fucking hell, mate. I'm going to get real deep on it right now. Mm. We have been together that long now. It was along the timelines before my mum ended up in her situation. Okay, with okay. With a heart condition. Now. And it's that deep. And I'll be real right now. I don't care if it's broadcast or not. It ain't even licks. Yeah, you are. Literally, I'm not. You're licking me more, son. <laughs> right, now I'll be real with you right now. Simple. First time I actually turned to my girl slash my wife and actually posed to her was kind of a bad timing, but it was just a lifestyle by itself. It was pure love. Life's, like, yeah, life is short in a way, but at the same time, it's what you make it, right? So, end of the day, I turned around, old school the motive, went on my knee, stand in the kitchen, went, look, do you want to marry me? Back to our ring. <laughs> Did it old school? <laughs> typical D, typical me, I don't give a damn. Old school. I did it. She looked at me, she went, are you serious right now? She went, are you just doing this because the lifestyle has changed, life is a bit short? I was like, nah, 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 nah. I was like, we've gone through a lot. And I'll say this now and she'll be pissed. She lost her virginity to me. That's how deep it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Too much. She lost her virginity. I don't oh, give a damn. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. I don't give a damn. She lost her V to me, right? So I it's press, deep. I pressed the We've known each other since we were primary school kids. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. It's very, cool, bro. It's cool. Very. It's cool. Start again and do it. Start you all you want. Start all you want. Start all you want. They'll chop it up. They'll chop it up. Okay, that's it's cool. Fine. That's it's fine. Just chop it up. Chop it up. Because you're the only one with headphones on. I can't hear none of these buttons you're pressing. I could be all setting man up, you know? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, basically, the reason I asked that, right, is. um. You being in in a relationship, 
right mm-hmm. right now with your missus um sue i'm um, soon to be married and that yep does that outweigh the benefits of you when you were single or does it benefit you being in a relationship with the person you're in right now um to be honest when i was single it 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 was different it was mad yeah i was one of them guys i'll be locked up in a room just playing with myself yeah don't give a damn don't give a damn that's all i'm doing this is doing so i had to find a damn good woman in my life Mm. and the old saying goes i don't care anyone says if you could be around a woman who you know for years and not realize and have that acknowledgement she's gonna be with you for the rest of your days there's something wrong with you 